You know, my phone's all nudes, and that's no. true. I gotta turn my airdrop on. You yeah. want an accidental nude? I'll show you my tits. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh, hey, Glam fam. I saw you there, but I was pretending not to. I'm Glam Dora, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that shit on all my vids here on Crypt TV. It's been a wonderful journey so far. But did you know that I actually have an Instagram? Clearly you do, because you've left all kinds of comments. Here's one why she got masculine hips. Uh, first of all, that's binary thinking. Second of all, no, I f don't. Whoa, whoa, this person says, her eye look like an old peach. My eye look like an old peach? What does that f mean? No, it is, what's an old peach? No, it does, my eyes are beautiful. I bet her kidneys smell so damn bad. Stop thinking about my kidneys. And you're right, they probably smell bad. You know what, f you guys. Today's episode is about self-confidence. I don't give a f what you say about me because I f rule and you f drool until you finish this episode and then you can learn to love yourself or something. I don't know. That's right, you dicks. Today we're gonna learn about self-confidence, how to get it, and how to keep it. Here are a few things that will never make you feel self-confident. Going down on someone from Tinder. You should not go down on somebody that you just call someone from Tinder, all right? Another thing that really is never gonna make you feel more self-confident is when somebody cuts you off in traffic, so you work your way through the cars until you're next to them at a red light, and then you look over to see what this garbage idiot looks like. That's actually pretty satisfying. Another thing that will never make you feel self-confident is still talking about how Bernie Sanders should have been the nominee. While some people might think that might be true, it's 2018, that happened in 2016, that's two years you should have grown by now. In a party environment, if you're trying to get laid, I just wouldn't. <sighs> I think I need a boost of self-confidence and I think I know how to get it. How about with my next guest, Dang Matt Smith. We're going to the boudoir. That's French for better. Oh my fucking God, we're in my boudoir now. Can you believe it? God, I love this life. How are you? It's not a sleep number bed, but you know, it, it works. Okay. This is my new friend, Matt Smith. I'm sorry, Dang Matt Smith. Hey, what's going on? I'm not creeped out at all by the the whips and the chains and the <clears throat> the dildos, but um, it's fine, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't ask. Anyway, he has his own clothing line, shirts, hoodies, sweatpants, jerseys, pop sockets, portable chargers, everyone needs one of those, except for me, my pussy is also an iPhone charger, bracelets, phone cases, and water bottles. What's your favorite item you have? Yeah, I, I was just gonna say the, the shirts, but I'd be happy to accommodate, you know, anything that you're looking for. Maybe I can get like a dang Matt Smith horn or... Oh, uh, would you like to touch my horn? <clears throat> I'm very I mean, horny. Only on the second date. Please touch my horns. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna, just a little, just touch just the tip. Ow! Uh, so, let me get this straight, though. You made a name for yourself. Yes. Just interacting with random people on chat roulette? Yeah, yeah, just, you know, talking to strangers, doing what my parents told me not to do. Oh, my God, you must have been just a small boy when chat roulette was a popular thing to do. I was a small boy, but you know what? I grew up. But you're 19. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I got some info. Oh, no. oh. Where, where that, that's littering. But littering is a myth. You do a lot of reaction videos. Mm. So that's how you made your name for yourself. Yes. All right, so like, what kind of things do you react to? Oh, anything scary, anything funny, you know, like. <laughs> You might need to change the sheets. Did you of. pee yourself or did you come? <laughs> no, I'm worse. You did not shit my bed. You smell wonderful. Thank you. And I'm happy that you're here. Yeah, me too. All right. Not regretting it at all. So you also do like meme videos. Yes. Like checked out your Instagram. Yeah, That yeah. feeling when, mm -hmm. that moment when, ah. me when. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. love all of this. I do all of it, the awkwardness. Please show me that moment when you realize you've been dead the whole time. Oh my God, he's beautiful. <laughs> it's still going. And then it, and then it turns into And you're light. sad that you're dead, mm -hmm. you're not relieved. Show me that feeling when you realize your girl's the killer. <laughs> when you are having the best sex of your life, but then you realize it's a ghost. Whoa, it's confusion. It's like pain and ecstasy simultaneously. It's very, um, <clears throat> Personal experience. You f***ed a ghost? Not on purpose. Are you ready to play a little game with me? To see how confident you really are? Like, you walk in here like some big, confident hotshot. Your mad swagger just walking up into my bedroom trying to tell me what's up? You really think I got mad swagger? We're gonna play my game now, so shut the f*** up. This is a game called Truth or Scare. I'm gonna ask you some very personal, very f***ed up questions, and you can either answer them honestly, or 
I can get to text someone in your phone and tell them whatever I want to tell them. Oh, no. First question, who is your least favorite YouTuber go? My least favorite? I mean, I love all YouTubers. You know, shout out to all you the YouTubers. You cannot lie. My least favorite YouTuber is myself. I think he's lying, and I think he's gonna get punished. Who's the most famous person you've ever hooked up or made out with? I don't know if you heard of anybody called uh, Selena Gomez, but she once kissed me on the cheek, so I count Selena that. Selena Gomez kissed you on the cheek? She did, I met her one time, and then she was like, oh, hi, nice to meet you right there. It's not really a hookup, but she's pretty famous. It's, it's like it's like first and a half base. Do you want to ask me? Oh, God. Who's the most famous person you've hooked up with? Well, I haven't hooked up with them, but John Mayer sometimes DMs me really dirty things, and that is true. Have you ever shoplifted? <laughs> so, yes. If you lie, if you don't answer a question, I have to go through your phone. Like Would you steal? Candy. Why did you do it for the thrill or because you needed them, they needed the candy so bad, huh? It was for the sexual thrill of stealing. So that's your thing? Yes, it is. If you could kill one person in The Purge, who would it be? If I could kill one person, it would have to be my therapist. I mean, you have my mommy child, stuff, you know, dad stuff? A little bit of both, but. Yeah. Have you ever had an STD? No. One time I got crabs on purpose because I was lonely. What's the most recent nude you've gotten and can you show us? No, we're not gonna see other people's nudes, but if you have a nude that you've sent to somebody, I would like to see that. <laughs> of course I don't have a nude. You know? My phone's all nudes, and that's no. true. I gotta turn my airdrop on. You yeah. want an accidental nude? I'll show you my tits. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, just family friendly. You're not gonna show me a nude, you'll lose the game. What, what nude? There's no nudes. Oh I, God. I Give me your my... phone. Give me your phone. I even wear you my... You lose, you lose, you lose. You're punished. I wear my clothes in the shower, too, so. You're a never so nude? You know, I'm never nude. All right, I'm gonna text your best friend. Oh, God. Jeremiah. Don't you text Jeremiah. Oh, I'm gonna text Jeremiah. I'm gonna text him, thank you so much for the illegal help on my taxes. <sighs> She's a loose cannon, sitting in a bedroom with like a back, back wall that looks like it, it goes to the shadow realm. Yeah, well, it does go to the shadow realm. Hold on, I gotta check in with some people, actually. Uh. Uh, can you tell can you tell my grandfather I say hi? Oh, okay. We're in a new segment of the show now. I'm sitting differently. I'm not. Well, we all make choices. Okay, we're gonna play a game called Kill, Torture. Okay, it's just like Mary Kill, except for we don't care about marriage here at Crip TV. We care about torture. Basically, I should admit on camera to a crime. It's like not to commit a, crime a crime if you've if you're just premeditating it yet, but oh. it's coming. Lil Zam, Lil Tay, or My Lil Pony? Oh, jeez. Man. I'm sorry, I'd have to kill Lil Tay. Okay. We're gonna have to torture Lil Zan. Mm, yeah. And we're gonna have to My Lil Pony. Hi, girls. You made the exact right call on that. Congratulations. <laughs> Round of applause for me and yeah. bestiality. This is kill, torture, mm -hmm. the three fat men on Pawn Stars. Let's just torture them all. Yeah, I'm just gonna get, gotta kill them, torture them yeah. all. Tom Cruise, Ted Cruise, or a PT Cruiser? A PT Cruiser. <laughs> and then we're gonna have to torture Ted Cruise because his policies are horrible. And then Tom Cruise, we're just gonna have to kill him even though he was about to make Mission Impossible 73. Plus I already f***ed him. <laughs> Shane Dawson, the yeah. Annabelle doll, <gasps> or someone that watches their Instagram stories in public at full volume with no headphones. Oh, God. We gotta torture the person that watches their Instagram stories, you know, full volume. Yeah, they're mm -mm. torturing us. What was the other one? You have to f or kill Shane Dawson or the Annabelle doll. Oh, jeez. Kill the Annabelle doll. And then Shane Dawson, we're gonna have to... You're gonna f Shane Dawson. My man, right here, Dang Matt Smith wants to f Shane Dawson. I mean, no, no, At want, Shane Dawson. Want. Nope. It's a strong word. Your final kill torture Liza Koshy, mm. a garbage can full of 12-day-old fried okra, or David Dobrik? I love okra, but I think we're gonna have to torture David Dobrik. Okay. And then we're gonna have to f the okra. Right, in, gonna, right there in the pot. You're gonna kill Liza? Sorry, Liza. You dead, Liza? You know, just gotta murder you. Well, dang, it turns out you're a complete monster, and I love it. But you should feel very, very bad. You sound and, like my parents. Anyway, here are some tips for me, but with some different lighting. Want to fortify your self-confidence? Let's ease into just the tip. Mm. 
Don't ever send a follow-up text to someone that hasn't texted back. Hey, ha, just making sure that last text went through. Ha ha, I just had bad service and thought maybe AT&T shut down. Ha ha ha, LMAO, text me later, LOL. And what's up with people that respond 28 days after a text and answer casually? Like, oh, hey, did you still need to go to the hospital? No. Hannah, I don't. I'm dead. 28 days ago, I had really bad diarrhea and thought I was gonna be dehydrated. Then I started thinking about the Oregon Trail and how everyone died from dysentery, which is basically just really bad diarrhea, and I feared for my life. But it's cool. I've really enjoyed all those Instagram pictures you've been posting from the exact same phone you could have been responding to me with. I will unfavorite your selfies, I swear to Satan. And that's your tip of the day. Oh my God, we're in my lair. My living room. My living lair. Tomato layer, same thing. All right, we're gonna play a game called Sketch Me If You Can. This is a game where we're going to test and see who's the most confident in their artistic abilities, and it's probably gonna be me. It's a game where you're going to, based on the note cards that you have, draw something spooky or scary or monster, and I'm gonna guess what it is, and then vice versa, because that's how games work, okay? And whoever wins lives. All right, let's go. Are you ready? You want me to go first? You're gonna go first because okay. it's my f***ing lair. Stop asking questions. I mean, you can really see my ponytail from this angle, can't you? I'm like really giving you Ariana here. I just want everyone to pay attention to that. Okay. Is that what that is? Go, 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 It's a box, it's a, the ring. It's no, 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 okay, it's a face, it's a, there's a, that's a chin, that's a chin. Oh, no, Sunny Family Cult. Hey, very good. Yeah. Wait, hold on, I don't want you to win. Well, no, tough shit. No. It's my turn. I'm winning. Are you ready? Because this I'm one's ready. very scary. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's the person. We got a person. That's a big man. Big person. Tall. It's leprosy. He's, 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 a disease. Okay. That's a square. Oh, Jason. Is it Jason? Ah, oh, yes. Jason. Chain too, Jason. Yes, yes. So another point for me because oh, I drew it. See, now you're changing the rules. You're like a little kid changing the rules. You can't feel like. No, I'm... that was this, this is the third round. Mm-hmm. I mean, all right, fine, 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 fine. All right, are you ready? And. Yes, yes, oh my god, okay, it, it's another, okay, your faces are always, their chins are so pointy, but that's okay, that's not what this is about. He has a beard, okay, that's a, and he has spiky hair. Why is this always the hair this way? It's the other way. The other way, that doesn't, it, okay, you could be looking in a mirror, okay. Mm. <sighs> I mean, I don't know what the problem is, that's a perfect drawing of PewDiePie. My name's PewDiePie! That's a terrible drawing of PewDiePie, and oh since this was the drawer's round, uh, it's another point to me. How many points are you gonna get? I have eight points and you have two? That's right, right? Let me check with my intern. Uh, well, eight to two, mm, okay. My go. Take you back to math class. Never again. <sighs> are you ready? I'm ready. Th whoever wins this one mm -hmm. wins everything. Fine. Are you? Oh, jeez, wait, wait, whoa, 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 okay, okay, all right. Oh, it's a butthole. Okay, no, it's not. Now it's a face, we got a face. Some eyelashes on point. Oh, whoa, that big mouth though, that's fine. It's you! No, it's not, I don't wanna lose points. Is it like a scary person? <laughs> I suck, jeez, oh, does she suck? Porn star, oh, porn star, oh, it's you, it's you, it's gotta be you. No, it's Tommy you. Lauren. Ha, what, ha. Well, okay. my friend, you lose your life. Do you have any last plugs before you die so that your legacy will live on? <laughs> yeah, um, every, at Dang Matt Smith and, you know, youtube.com slash Dang Matt Smith and everything Dang Matt Smith. Now, will you trace me? Oh. <laughs> Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Got like the the, the Coke bottle body right there. Coke and... bottle body? What the f yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, no, you know how like a Coke bottle just goes like, like, Oh, oh there you go. I was thinking of a can. Thanks. No, 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 Coke <laughs> bottle. Yeah, see, oh, wow, wow, look at that. Jeez, I mean, that's just... Gorgeous. Know. See, no, no, no. Oh, well, eh, eh, no, 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 yes. oh, 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 jeez, that's well, a little... But you have a problem. <clears throat> I, I mean, yeah, I know it's natural, but why don't you... Draw it how you want. Why don't you cut it, like, nice and neat? Just nice and neat, color inside the lines, and keep it, keep it, you know, nice and, nice and in over socialized. Shape. Yeah, there you go, just nice, just like that. That's just... <laughs> Beautiful. Nah, if somebody sees that, they're running for the hills. That is not true. I'm sorry, you have to go die now, because... I won. It's only fair. Yeah. Follow the rules, so. I'll try to, yeah, yeah, you follow. Just, just yeah. go that way. Okay. All right, bye. Yeah, bye. Kill you in a second, sweetheart. 
Man, I can't wait to dang Matt Smith. I'm gonna consume him with my bush dentata situation and spit him out. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm self-confident enough to check my Instagram again, so here we go. I bet her breath smell like a old bus driver's couch cushion. She got tuna face, what's that? As soon as I see it, I got a tuna different channel, LMAO. I think I can smell her through my phone. Why, I don't smell. You know what, fine. Here's what we learned. Take every comment from anonymous strangers on the internet straight to heart. If you feel bad about yourself, that sounds about right. The internet is an abomination and wrong about everything, but it's definitely right about you. Your kidneys probably do smell so damn bad. You think about it. Well, the glam tram is backing out of this station, and I'd like you to look inward and find the confidence to hammer the shit out of that like button and just go to town on that subscribe button. And I'll be back to sit on your collective laps next week. God, I love that video. Did you love that video? If you did, click subscribe below right here on Crypt TV.